Ahoy, mateys! I'm Lord Baron Chandler Dean, and I'll be your tour guide for this evening. Welcome to Sealand. The principality of Sealand, to be precise, the smallest country in the world. Now, technically speaking, we are an unrecognized micronation that is not considered a country by any established sovereign state on Earth. But every country on Earth is dead wrong. On September 2nd, 1967, our beloved founder, Prince Patty Roy Bates, arrived at Ross Tower, an island built by the British government in the North Sea to defend its coast from German invaders during World War II. This fort, I should note, was built illegally in international waters. Every other fortress built for this purpose was torn down, but this one remains seven nautical miles away from the coast of England, and our lawyers assure us that it was therefore considered extra-national territory. With that in mind, Prince Patty Roy Bates declared the territory the Principality of Sealand, complete with our own flag. When he was joined by his beautiful wife, Joan, and it was her birthday that day. So, just to clarify, for her birthday, our founder dragged his wife several miles off the coast of England to an abandoned tower, named it Sealand, and honored her with the title of princess. Can you think of anything more romantic? Can you? Can you? Can you? Time's up, now you can. Now, Sealand has had its fair share of dark days. Within a year that we declared our sovereignty from the British government, the military were sent out to destroy forts that were abandoned in international waters could become like Britain's Cuba. The Bates family witnessed huge explosions that day as other structures were destroyed and our beloved sea land was in jeopardy. So Prince and Princess Bates took to Essex where a legal battle was to take place over sea land legitimacy. The judge decided that the UK courts had no jurisdiction over international waters and sea land prevailed. Since then, sea land has developed a constitution, a flag, a national anthem, a currency, and over 150,000 passports. We've even got our own Sealandgov.org. That's right, they wouldn't even let us have a doctor.